Welcome to 5 Minute School and in today's video we'll be talking about schizophrenia. So schizophrenia is a thought disorder which impairs judgement, behaviour and ability to interpret reality. The normal case for the diagnosis of schizophrenia involves the symptoms being present for at least 6 months to confirm this diagnosis. The risk factors involved for schizophrenia include men who are between 15 to 25 years of age, they have the highest risk. People with high levels of dopamine and abnormalities with their serotonin. Schizophrenia is also said to have a genetic predisposition, so if you have a family member, like a mother or a father, who has been diagnosed with schizophrenia, you are more likely to also have schizophrenia in comparison to someone who does not have the disorder in their family. Other factors include substance abuse, so schizophrenia has been seen as a result of certain recreational drugs that people have been taking. These include drugs like cocaine, methamphetamine, cannabis, and also it can be due to other substances like alcohol. Now, these symptoms uh, vary according to the type of schizophrenia that you have. So, uh, the classification of schizophrenia can include the paranoid type of schizophrenia, disorganized type and catatonic type and there's also undifferentiated type and residual type. But the symptoms involved in schizophrenia include hallucinations which are often auditory, so you're, the patient is usually hearing voices. Uh, others include delusions, disorganized speech, disorganized behavior and social or occupational dysfunction. And saccadic eye movements are also seen, which is where you, they have uh, jerking eye movements. So if you look at the brain imaging of a, a person who has schizophrenia, a CT scan will show lateral and third ventricular enlargements and reduction in cortical volume. So I'll show you a diagram of that here. An MRI scan will show increased cerebral ventricles, so that will be this region here, and uh, a PET, which is positron emission tomography, will show hypoactivity of the frontal lobes here and hyperactivity of the basal ganglia. Other tests you can do for schizophrenia are things like IQ tests and personality tests. So for an IQ test, they'll usually score a bit lower and that could be due to low intelligence at the onset of the disease or it could be due to deterioration deterioration as a result of the disease or a personality test may show abnormal findings such as bizarre ideas and theories. So the treatment for schizophrenia is usually things like hospitalization which is usually recommended just to stabilize the patient or it could be for safety reasons. Uh, if medications are used, uh, they are antipsychotic medications which are used to control both the positive and the negative symptoms. These medications are things like amisulpride, olanzapine, which are considered to be fairly effective but they do have side effects as well. If there is a poor response to these drugs, another medication which is called clozapine is used if other medications have failed. Other treatment methods include psychotherapy which is supportive and the primary aim is to have the patient understand that the, the therapist is uh, very trustworthy and has their best intentions.